I'm looking for Holden. How you doing, young man? This is Brian Bosworth. I'm coming to you on Cameo at a request for your big birthday that's coming up. Number 13, that's a big one. I'm gonna tell you something. The 13th birthday for a young man is an awful big one. It's a sign of lots of changes that are about to come your way. And let me tell you a little something. Um, those changes will cement the foundation of the young man that you will um, gracefully become if you are a very humble young man and a man that listens and a man that has great compassion and a lot of, of desire and competitiveness and um, just sheer passion. Um, especially if you've got a lot of people around you that love you and support you. And it sounds like that's what you got there. A uh, little, little history that they gave me on you. Um, big number 44 wearer. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, that, was a, that was a blessed number for me. I, I didn't understand why I, why I held 44 so dear to my heart uh, when um, I got it in Oklahoma. Because I didn't have 44 when I was in high school. I had a bunch of different numbers in high school and a bunch of different numbers in junior high school and playing all different sports. So uh, it was funny. I always had 11 and 33 and 89 and just a few other numbers. But it wasn't until 44 I got that number. And it just resonated with me. And it just meant a lot to me. It was like, you know, how athletes are with their numbers. It's a personal thing. It becomes kind of like the tattoo, uh, second skin, so to, so to speak. So... Uh, but it wasn't until much later in life, um, and I won't get into the long story of it, but I found out that the 44 is a number that's symbolic with angels, and it allows uh, this relationship, if you're in tuned, that the, um, the number is a protective number. There are lots of angels around you that guide you and protect you and, and, and um, provide just... Uh, just a well-being about yourself. So um, have your mom and dad look that up. Uh, it's, it's a very interesting thing. Uh, your dad tells me that it'll, he let you uh, wear the Boz haircut uh, this summer. Um, it's always good to get it done in the summertime before you go to school to see how your hair is going to actually um, deal with it because it is a lot of maintenance on that deal. Um, but I would encourage you don't put the stripes in there until you earn them. You got to earn those stripes. You can't just you can't just keep walking around with stripes in your hair. Uh, and he and he even lets you bleach the hair blonde. Uh, he tells me you're a football player and you're also an actor, so you're you're following in my footsteps, my brother. Although I did not uh, have a desire to be an actor, although I did act a fool many many times when I was in high school and junior high school and elementary school. Man, I was all kinds of trouble for my teachers and principals back in those days because I was a wild child. Uh, and when you're a wild child, that means that um, you just have a lot of pent-up um, energy. My, mo my mother used to say that I, I was born half ta Tasmanian devil, um, and they just could not corral me, so thank God for sports. But 13 um, is, a, is a very important year for you, uh, and it was a, a very important year for me as well. Um, and I had a lot of very influ influential men that were in my life at, the, at that time. My father, of course, was, uh, was a big part of every decision that I made. But also, my grandfather was a big, uh, a big fan. And he was a farmer up in Oklahoma. But he could never see me play. But he wanted to see me play. And I remember when I was a young kid going to the farm every single summer from the time I was six years old to the time I was 13, that... Um, you know, he would say, hey, you know, if you're ever good enough, maybe you could play for the school down the street. And that little school down the street happened to be the University of Oklahoma. So that's when I fell in love with Oklahoma and started to watch Coach Switzer and watch the team and, you know, um, just fall in love with the whole program and the culture. And, and being that I was born in Oklahoma, I just had a, a heavy desire to go back home. But I promised him that I would do that, and he would promise me that he would come watch me play. Well, unfortunately, he passed away in my 13th year. Um, but I, I held dear to that promise. Um, now, I, I, I said that I had a lot of Tasmanian devil in me. Part of why I'm telling you that 13 is a very important year for you is I'll give you a little bit of advice. Learn early that the path that you are on is God's path. And if you can play and do everything, doesn't have to play football, just do everything in your life with a lot of passion. 
Um, I use an, an acronym for the word path. Uh, persistence, passion, um, great attitude, acceptance, acknowledgement, truth, trust. But the most important part about being on your path and the relationship that the man upstairs has provided for you and this blessings that he's given you is to be humble while you're on that path and have and do it with great honor. And and when you do when you do that, you have a sense of of pride that goes along with it. Now, I didn't have a lot of that at an early age, um, only because there was, I just didn't have that, that one male figure in my life that, not to say he put the hammer down, because my father put the hammer down a lot, but tempered the hammer with love. And it sounds to me like you got a lot of love in your family. And brother, that love in your family is a big ingredient to becoming um, a, just a, a graceful young man as you grow up. So when you're on that path, acknowledge that that path starts over every single day for you. And that path is always there and it's already preset for you, but it's each day is a test for you and for you not to get called up and, and uh, corralled by all the things on the outside that you can't control but it's the things that you can control from the inside, from your heart, from your, from your moral compass that allows you to make the great decisions that, um, that influences people around you by, by the way you act and the, the way you treat other people. It's just a, it's a, it's a great seed layer that allows people to want to be around you. Um, it's, it's, it just, I know, it took me until I'm 48 years old to learn that. I wish I had learned it back when I was young, but like I said, I didn't have a lot of people in my life at that time that were faith-based people. And when I use faith, um, another acronym I like to use is faith, follow all in to him. Uh, and if you do that on a, on, a, on a daily basis, when you establish that relationship with, with our Savior Jesus Christ, it allows you to understand that the bigger picture is not the small things that you do on the football field or as an actor. It's the greater glory of the presence and the present of the gift that he has given you. And then in honoring and humbling yourself of being very thankful and grateful for those things that, um, that he's bestowed upon you. So I know I'm throwing a lot at you, brother, but keep this in mind. The relationship is based on an everyday um, conversation and your conversations can be as super simple as I'm with you God and thank you for being there with me every single day and give me the power and the strength and the protection and and just all the blessings and all those things but as your relationships grow stronger um, so will um, the presence of him in your life and then all of a sudden you will be a uh, like I tell my son all the time don't be caught up in a pack of wolves. Be that shepherd that stands up and leads that pack of wolves into the promised land. So by doing that, you become a leader of men um, and learn it at an early age, you know, and at 13 years old, brother, that is the best time to learn it because you've got all the gifts that you could possibly have. And there'll be some, some challenges along the way. You'll get injured. There'll be some downfalls. There'll be some disappointing days, but all those days um, as long as you give them all to him, he will allow and find a way for you to find the path that he has set for you as as easily as as you can get through it. Uh, life is not easy, but by surrounding yourself with a number of people that love and respect you and support you, you're going to find out that life is full of nothing but joy and glory um, and happiness and peace. So, brother, have a great, great 13th birthday. Um, I know you're a big Sooner fan, so Boomer, um, don't worry so much about the outside. Work on your inside because the inside is where your strength lies, my brother. All right, man. Uh, by the way, thank your dad and your mom and Madison for thinking about me. I really appreciate them allowing me to come in and share a little bit about my past, where I'm at, and uh, that's another conversation. Um, but... More importantly, you just enjoy your 13th birthday with all your family and your friends and your loved ones. And let's, let's uh, somewhere down the road, I'm sure we'll cross paths or we'll, we'll, we'll see how it turns out. But I have strong faith that um, you're going to be in, in a good place, my bro. All right, man. Happy birthday. Peace out. God bless you.